Hi. Uh, I went to the movies yesterday and I saw Can You Ever Forgive Me? The uh, new film directed by Mario Haller and written by uh, Nicole Solofsson. Nicole Holofsson. Apologies. Um, and based on the story of Lee Israel, who's played by Melissa McCarthy. Um, Israel was a biographer. She, in the turn of the 90s, had written a biography of Estee Lauder, the cosmetics magnate, which had been a commercial and critical failure. And trying to uh, interest uh, publishers in a, a new book about Fanny Bryce, of funny girl fame and um, one of the legendary figures in vaudeville, that wasn't happening. And uh, by a few twists and turns of fate, she winds up discovering a lucrative market in her faking and selling letters from noted literary figures. And this turns into a major fraudulent operation with the assistance of uh, a friend of hers, Jack Hawk, a flamboyant alcoholic. Um, ultimately, it came to a uh, uh, legal conclusion. Um, I enjoyed the film a great deal. I have a confession to make from the off. The night before I went to see it, I slept really badly. And even though I thought, oh, I'm fine, I actually dozed off partway through the movie, which is a an issue I sometimes have, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't get as much sleep as I think I should. Um, so I did miss a little bit of the movie about halfway through. I don't think I missed anything important, and I've checked synopses, and I don't think I missed any sort of major twist elements. It's not like that time when I saw a Transformers movie, and I dozed off when I woke up, Chicago was gone. Um, the act, it's, it's a film that hinges on its performances. The acting is terrific. Uh, Melissa McCarthy demonstrates her skill as a dramatic actor because you see her in all these terrible, unfunny comedies like Tammy. Spy isn't particularly good. Ghostbusters, there's just too much riffing. Here, it's a strong script and she's given a, a, an interesting and engaging character to work with and you get this uh, picture of this misanthropic closed person who pushes people away, actively pushes people away. And yet you're encouraged to feel sympathetic towards them. And the key is her relationship with Jack, who is played by Richard E. Grant, um, finally picking up a long overdue Oscar nomination. Um, there was some concern, particularly from me, that his performance would essentially be with Norm Mark II. And the two are different. I mean, most prominently, Hawk is flamboyantly gay with Norm, if, if anything had, was his sexuality is never touched upon and <laughs> I think the idea of interacting with other people was hor horrific to him already. Um, but there is there is an undercurrent of deeper elements to their, to their personalities, the way that um, Hawk cheer cheerily exploits other people and seems to ride roughshod over the feelings of others and is in particular a, a, a effectively a con man and how Israel despite being a talented writer in her own right is forced to assume the identities of other people just for her work to be acknowledged and appreciated so there is elements of having to assume other identities in order to find appreciation because these people are so difficult to live with so I found it a, a very engaging and interesting character story. It is very funny all the way through. The, the characters like that and the way they interact and the abrasiveness that they show towards the world I, can be extremely entertaining, and it is. Um, so uh, I enjoyed it a great deal. I, I feel that there's, there's little to say about it. It's, it's a good film. It's well acted. Um, it's about... You know these these people uh, f finding ways to um, express themselves in a world that is not geared towards them. I don't think it's saying anything terribly profound, but it is an interesting and engaging story. And the fact that it's true makes it all the more noteworthy. Um, the performances I think deserve their Oscar nominations. Melissa McCarthy is terrific. 
Richard E. Grant, I don't think, is doing his best work, but the fact that he's Oscar nominated is, as I say, well overdue. Um, but uh, it's definitely worth your time, and um, I would highly recommend it.